What's going on guys? Welcome to Everything Always. My name's Michael Roman. Now in a week where we started to get some semblance of good news, light confirmation that within the next 30 days, Marvel Studios could in fact pick up on on-set filming and production in several countries across the globe. And there were a couple of details along with that that sort of temper expectations and we're gonna get to those. We also got some huge Marvel Phase 5 leaks from none other than your favorite anonymous infamous scooper, Roger Wardell. We're gonna break down all the new news for on-set production. It may be harder for Falcon and Winter Soldier, the series that Marvel Studios needs to finish first to get back on set than some of these other productions, and of course start with the huge leaks from Roger Wardell concerning Ant-Man 3 and Captain Marvel 2, as well as a quick production update from one of the actors in Deadpool 3. Like I said, we're going to break it all down, but first, if you could grab the subscribe button, we're giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, as well as a whole slew of other Marvel-related stuff, including this insane 1 4th scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video, and if you want, stick around to the end of the video, we'll get into all the giveaway stuff again there. So quickly, the very normal spoiler warning, when it comes to anonymous leaks here at the channel, like those things on 4chan, we normally just tell you to take things with a grain of salt. If it doesn't come from Marvel officially, remember that it might not be true, it could be fan fiction. but for an infamous leaker like Roger Wardell, who's had a consistent track record of being 100% correct, guys, he nailed details about Avengers Endgame five months in advance that you couldn't have known if you hadn't seen the movie. For those industry insiders like him and Mikey Sutton who put their name on things and have a track record of being correct, it's a little bit more than just, hey, take this with a grain of salt. It's an actual spoiler warning. So if this is in any way going to ruin your upcoming Marvel Phase 4 and Phase 5 experience, then you might want to back out now. So as we've mentioned before, Roger Wardell will go about a month or two between posts and then shotgun two or three tweets that are only a sentence or two long but packed with information and today's are no different. He starts with Ant-Man 3, Robbie Baldwin has some hard times with his girlfriend's father, Cassie Lang chooses to go by the name Stinger. Now we've talked about the Young Avengers added to the MCU here a ton in the past six months, and it's sort of been assumed that Cassie Lang, Scott Lang's daughter, would assume the name of Stature as she does in the comics first, but this seems to imply she's going to jump the moniker of Stature altogether and start with Stinger, which bends her a little bit closer to the Wasp powers with the same ability from Ant-Man to be able to grow and shrink, and can still be a member of the new Avengers just the same, just a character that showed up in the astonishing Ant-Man number six not earlier as stature as she did first in the comics but this is hardly the biggest takeaway in this tweet robbie baldwin is none other than night thrasher and beyond the implication of dating cassie lang at least at the beginning he's a member of the new warriors now why this is a bombshell is the new warriors have been rumored to be in production over at marvel studios for either disney plus or perhaps the silver screen I don't know, for about three or four months now. And of course, Night Thrasher would need to be included. He's sort of a staple alongside a lot of the characters that we already have in the MCU and fits in nicely in the landscape that they're building out for the Marvel Cinematic Universe in New York alongside Spider-Man in the upcoming Fantastic Four. There's an excellent place for him there and there's a ton of Marvel history surrounding him. And according to Roger Wardell, we're first gonna meet Robbie Baldwin, Night Thrasher, in the upcoming Ant-Man 3. Now to jump over to Captain Marvel 2 in a leak that also implies the introduction of brand new characters to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but one that had me scratching my head just a little bit, and if you're familiar with Marvel Comics, especially some of the vintage stuff, this is going to have you scratching your head as well. Roger Wardell tweets that Captain Marvel 2 will offer some serious Star Wars vibes, Evil Scrolls exist, and they're gathered as the extremist group called the Badoon. Now the Badoon have existed in the Marvel Comics for quite some time, they are not the scrolls. In fact, they predate the Kree and the scrolls. And while their official description for what they are in the Marvel comics first lists them as a green reptilian looking creature, and that sort of puts them in the ballpark and aesthetic of the scrolls, again, they are not the scrolls. Now, what I think is going on here is that the storyline for what happens with the Badoon is it's sort of a commentary, a social commentary on gender roles. They split into the brotherhood and the sisterhood of the Badoon because of very strict gender segregation. It could be that Marvel Comics is taking elements of what the Badoon were and just rolling them into the evil scrolls the same way that when we first met Ego in the MCU, he was an entire conflagration of a ton of different villains, not just the planet Ego, but the Guardians 
Gardner and a couple others, and they've done this several times. They did it with Hela. When it comes to their villains, they'll take elements of what they need and work them into the storyline, and I'm guessing this is how they're going to try to differentiate between who the good scrolls are and who the bad scrolls are. If they weren't ever planning on using the Badoon in the first place, and creatures that actually look closer to creatures from the Black Lagoon than they actually do scrolls, but if they weren't planning on using them anyway, which I told you, their, their storyline is super antiquated, and unless it's done as straight satire or there's some sort of commentary there, you leave it alone. You can just use that name to differentiate the scrolls that are looking to invade, but this certainly makes good on all the leaks we've heard up until now that Captain Marvel 2 will lead directly into a secret invasion Disney Plus series. We've been talking about this for a while, and if Roger Wardell is correct, as correct as he has been in the past, then this is how they're going to have this play out. Now, I mentioned in the prologue we had updates about several other films, first of which Deadpool 3, and this being reported by Jeremy Conrad over at MCU Cosmic, that one of the leading actresses, Morena Baccarin, I'm not sure I'm pronouncing her last name correctly, the actress who's played copycat in both Deadpool 1 and Deadpool 2, none other than Wade Wilson's love interest, sort of quoted that she thinks they're still writing this script. Now, we're not sure she's even going to be involved because we haven't had any confirmation from Marvel Studios or Kevin Feige how they're going to spin this character, but if they are retaining any of the continuity or narrative from the previous two Deadpools, of course she'd be in the movie and maybe finally even becoming a version of Copycat that we expect her to from the comics. Either way, we're still so far from Deadpool 3 with a bunch of question marks. This is nowhere near as pressing or as important news as we've been hearing about all of these production updates from Marvel Studios and especially Falcon and the Winter Soldier that should have come out in August and we were hoping would be back on set to finish production and shooting in the next 30 days. As I said in the prologue, there's been some indications and confirmations that they're going to do just that except for the fact that Europe just basically banned all travel, especially from America, to their countries. Now, why this is a big deal is it was said that Falcon and the Winter Soldier had to actually return to Prague in order to finish their filming there, and unless they can wrap here in the United States and Atlanta and some of the other locations they were filming at, it could be that that's been delayed again. And of course, we've speculated at length here at the channel about these movies and TV series needing to come out sequentially, with Black Widow already having been done and slated for November. We're not sure about WandaVision either. We're hoping that Falcon and the Winter Soldier can get complete in time, but this could be a major delay, again, especially if they need sets and places that they already filmed in Prague locations that they need to finish the filming for the series. If they're not allowed to go there for months, it could be this series is pushed back again. Other news, Loki should be able to continue at Pinewood Studios in Atlanta as they are open now as long as they follow regulations. That should be full on as well as WandaVision also filming in Atlanta and could be able to do so starting real soon. The same goes for Shang-Chi in Australia as well. As places start to open, like I said, light confirmation that onset filming will resume in the next 30 days. But with Falcon and the Soldier slated to come up first and now Europe basically being closed to Americans is our, well, the situation is sort of getting worse compared to theirs. There's no telling when they're going to be able to be complete. We can only cross our fingers and hope that if Falcon and the Winter Soldier get delayed, it won't delay the rest of the movies and TV shows in some sort of domino effect as well. Guys, let me know all your thoughts down below. Which one do you want to see the most? Of all of the series now that have been pushed back, Shang-Chi, Doctor Strange, the new Spider-Man, WandaVision, Loki, the Falcon, the Winter Soldier, let me know which one you're most hyped for. If they have to complete one and get it out, which one is the one you want? How hyped you are for Black Widow? And quickly, let's get into the giveaway stuff before I let you go. We're still giving away two PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 700,000 subscriber mark. A lot of you have asked, and of course we're going to switch over to PlayStation 5s once they come out, but with the way the delays have been in shipping and technology, we're not sure how pre-orders will be or when we'll have our hands on them at the end of the year. We'll announce those when we finally get them to give away. So in the meantime, it's PlayStation 4 Pros, the next of which is at the 700,000 subscriber mark. If you want to be entered to win, all you have to do, hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell, leave a like and a comment on this video. That'll automatically enter you to win all the rest of the prizes here at the channel, like this insane 1 4th scale XM Studios Beta Ray Bill. Now, if you're not familiar with collectibles, this is in no way an action figure. This thing at 30 inches tall is almost a full three feet and is an insane immaculately sculpted and beautiful representation of some of your favorite Marvel characters. If you want to be entered to win the Beta Ray Bill, 
either of the PlayStation 4 Pros or any of the other prizes we announce here at the channel, all the same rules will always apply. Hit the subscribe button, then hit the notification bell with notifications turned on, leave a like and a comment on this video, and because it's truly random, the more videos you like and comment on, the better chance you have of winning. All winners will be announced at the end of videos, just like we're doing right here, and if you've missed any of those previous and past winner announcements as we've given away so many prizes this year already, I can't even count how many PlayStation 4 Pros, we may be close to 10 already in 2020. No worries, all you have to do, scroll back to the channel, look for the winner announcement and the sub count in the title, click on that video and scroll to the end. My name is Michael Roman, this is everything always guys, thanks so much for checking out the channel and stick around, we'll be posting again real real soon.